Megan Fox has been blowing up the news recently, and it's not just because of her sexy red lace hip count at the Met Gala, even though it was a head turner. She and her new pal Kourtney Kardashian posed topless for a racy Skims photo shoot, and it fired up the internet even more. But that's nothing new for the Transformers actress. Megan has always been a paparazzi favorite. And why wouldn't she be? She's hot, fierce, and completely unapologetic for being herself. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer. This series is titled Before and After, and today we're checking out the transformation of Megan Fox from teen idol to fashion icon, sex symbol, and more. If you like this video, be sure to check out our recent drop on Kourtney Kardashian too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. From the time Meghan made her big break in Disney's Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen, she had to struggle to find her place in Hollywood, fight stereotypes, and stand strong. The media has always portrayed Meghan as a sex icon. The Jennifer's body star is very self-aware about her image in Hollywood and has spoken out against it often. She has fought against people defining her by her looks in relationships. Unwilling to sacrifice her true self to the world, Megan worked on herself and created a character for her public image. Megan Fox was raised in a rural town in Tennessee called Rockwood. From the time she was a kid, she wanted to be an actress. And when she was 15 years old, Megan appeared in the 2003 film Bad Boys 2 as an extra. From then on, she had multiple small roles in several movies and TV shows, including one of my fave Mary Kate and Ashley movies from way back in the day, Holiday in the Sun. But her big break came when she starred alongside Lindsay Lohan in Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. Megan portrayed the role of a mean girl in the movie, a role that became her bread and butter over the years. Later came the movie Transformers in 2007 in which Megan starred as Michaela Baines. She became a household name, but unfortunately for Megan, her fame was not what she had imagined it to be. At the age of merely 21, she was portrayed in the media as the world's hottest sex symbol. Her next movie, Jennifer's Body, well, that only reinforced this image. Although it took a while, it seems that these days, Megan doesn't worry too much what others think. She has decided to stop fighting and focus on things that make her happy, even embracing her public image. Now, let's get into something I'm sure you all want to know. Did Megan go under the knife? Although Megan Fox doesn't admit to having had any plastic surgery in her face or body, the internet seems to believe otherwise. And I mean, you can't deny her looks have definitely changed over the years. If she hasn't had any major plastic surgery at the very least, I would say certainly a few tweaks here and there. A quick tour down memory lane is evidence enough that Megan's underwent a drastic change in her appearance since her start in Hollywood. So far, she's been accused of getting a nose job, lip fillers, facelift, a boob job, as well as Botox, which then prompted Megan to retaliate with a string of pictures on Facebook denying Botox rumors. However, the internet to this day remains unconvinced and even in those photos, it doesn't prove much because Botox wears off after a few months or so they say. Some fans also believe Megan got cheek fillers to give her face some contour and I can see that when we compare photos from then and now. Aside from that possibility, it doesn't really look like she's gotten anything invasive such as a facelift. Before Megan became a huge star, she had a slight hump on her nose bridge as we can see in before photos. The tip of her nose was also wider with a bit of a dent, but it was a perfectly pretty nose, just apparently not good enough for the movie star. By 2008, that dent in Megan's nose seemingly disappeared. The size and shape of her nose also became narrower, with a more refined and smooth tip. When you check out Megan in her 2007 Transformer role, the small dent is still visible. And looking at then and now, the change is subtle, but it's still there. Now, how about Megan's lips? Back in the day, the actress had lips that were slightly thinner and you could see her front teeth when she opened her mouth a bit. These days, that's not the case. Her upper lip also looked thinner than her lower lip, but these days they're evenly plump. However, when it comes to plastic surgery in general, Megan is not against it. She said, I would encourage anyone who wants plastic surgery to first speak with a therapist to try and figure out where this want comes from. If then you feel this is something that you want to do, then do it. It's amazing that we have the technology to do the stuff that we do. Now that's something you don't always hear popular actors speaking about. 
In 2009, Megan also spoke about her insecurities to Rolling Stone. I'm really insecure about everything, I see what I look like, but there are things that I like and things that I dislike. My hair is good, the color of my eyes is good, obviously, I'm too short, but overall I'm not super excited about the whole thing. Well, I never would have guessed that, but according to Megan, she experienced a genuine psychological breakdown after being hypersexualized while on the road to fame and success. However, Megan believes motherhood changed her life for the better. Of all the roles that she's had in the past, the one role that Megan Fox continues to love to this day is that of being a mother. Megan has three children with her ex-husband, Brian Austin Green. While a lot of people fear losing their careers after having children, Megan loved every minute of being pregnant. She told Entertainment Tonight in 2019, I think it took getting pregnant. That was the first real breakthrough where my consciousness shifted and my mind opened up and I was able to see from a bird's eye view and breathe and take it in. And then another kid and then another kid and with every kid, I feel like that's always been the doorway into a better version of myself. And much more recently, there are two pop punk style icons in town and they're none other than Megan and her man Machine Gun Kelly. From color coordinated ensembles and matching manicures to racy silhouettes and red carpet PDA, Megan and MGK have established quite the iconic couple style. Speaking with E! News after Machino's show at New York Fashion Week, Megan said they both influence and inspire each other's looks. He obviously is really flamboyant with his style. She said, He's obviously really flamboyant with his style, she said to the rapper, who has rocked embellished pink nails and even gone far to don a black tongue on recent red carpets. While Fox certainly has her own taste, she's definitely admitted that Kelly likes to take the lead when it comes to their date night outfits. When asked about how she picks out her look for a night out on the town, she told the New York Post, That depends on what he's wearing, and he's always wearing something insane, so I'm heavily influenced by whatever he pulls out of his closet. Complimentary white and Barbie pink getups, matching leather trench coats, or taking sultry to a whole new level at MTV Video Music Awards, we're surely looking forward to what the couple has to offer us next. I mean, her face is one thing, but look at that hot bod. Care to know how she got that going? Well, she credits it to her five-factor diet and workouts. According to this, Megan eats five small meals per day and has one day per week in which she eats, well, whatever she wants. Avoiding processed foods, consuming her carbohydrates from fruits and vegetables, and never skipping breakfast are the main pillars of her diet. And similar to her diet, Megan does a five-factor workout according to her trainer, Harley Pasternak. He said, there are five phases, a minimum five minute cardio warm up, a lower body sculpting exercise, an upper body toning exercise, then an abdominal sculpting exercise, and finally a five minute cool down. Keep it up, Megan, cause that's definitely inspiring. So what are your thoughts on Megan's overall transition from simply a sex symbol to the fashion icon she is right now? Be sure to drop me a comment down below about your favorite Megan look. I for one can't choose, I've always been a fan and loved all her looks from when she starred in Jennifer's body to her hot red carpet outfit she's recently been rocking. It's undeniable that she's a big. Don't forget to tell me who else we should do a before and after video on. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.